Welcome back everyone. In our previous video, we covered the fundamentals of creating a conveyor belt. Now, in part two of our tutorial, I will show you the ins and outs of making the most out of your belt. First, group the belt into a null. Hold down CTRL, grab the main one, and drag it below to create two separate belts. Make the second one longer by clicking on the rectangle and increasing the width. Longer means faster, so the speed is doubled. Now, into the cloner, set the rate speed to half, from minus 5 to minus 2.5. To change the direction, set it from minus to plus. For unlimited box spawning, click on Simulate and Emitter. Drag the cube under the emitter. Set birth rate viewport and birth rate render to 1. Make sure the cube keeps spawning by setting lifetime and stop emission to a huge number. Set cube speed to zero and turn on show objects. In the emitter tab, change X and Y size to zero. This is the slowest spawning rate of the cube, but to make it even slower, just place a null inside the emitter, above the cube, creating a pattern of cube, null, cube, etc. Now, the cubes might be too bouncy. Fix it by clicking on all collider tags and set bounce in collision to zero and friction to 90%. With these settings, all of your conveyor belt scenes should be perfect.